This is Darlene with Featherweight Doctor. Actually, should I say, should I change that now? Is it Darlene with Sand Creek Quilting, home of Featherweight Doctor? Should we do that? <laughs> How's everybody doing? Happy Wednesday. I literally almost said on my pre-show, I almost said, oh, goodness gracious. I literally almost said happy Monday. I am totally confused and exhausted all at the same time. So let me see here, I've got um, Facebook is up, so let me get on YouTube now. Uh, let's see here, studio, videos. We have a bunch of new viewers. If you're this is the first time you're joining me, I wanna say hi and welcome. I uh, have three shows a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, usually look a lot different than this. We are in the middle of a major move. Actually, today is officially the first day that we are Idaho residents. So, yay! North Idaho residents, technically speaking. Hi, Peggy in, in uh, Iowa. How you doing, sweetheart? Over on YouTube, let me just say hi to some friends and then we'll get going with the regular show. So, Pauline is joining us from Texas. Lisa Meadows, hi, Sweet Pea, is on from Phoenix. Linda's on from Tennessee. Debbie's on from Kentucky. No, oh, thank you. I can't eat that right now. Um, Nancy's on from Lake Stevens. And Patty's on. Hello, hello. So we did, hi, hello, hello, Nancy. Um, so we did uh, get in late last night. We had another drop off at the storage unit and all of the things. And so, um, I'm a little slow moving today. I'm meeting with lots of vendors to get product ordered for the new shop. Um, hi, Judy P. <laughs> hi, Franny. <laughs> Franny was telling dirty jokes over on Instagram. So, <laughs> Kathy Klein is on from Illinois. Hello, hello. Um, all right, so what I thought we would do tonight, so Wednesday I normally have a guest joining me. Um, that also is going to be the, the night that we start our next sew along, which I'm calling uh, a sampler, 2020 sampler, because it was supposed to be the summer sampler, and here we are September 1st. Um, <laughs> so Franny, I am living now in, uh, in Hope, Idaho, which is very close to Sandpoint, Idaho. It's on the shores of Lake Pend Oreille, which is a beautiful lake up here. Oh, good, Mel and Joe made it home. Yay, I'm so glad. Super, super. <laughs> Polly's on from UK. Hi, Polly. I'm so glad you, yes, we did. You must be cream crackered. Is that an English term? <laughs> if it means clinically exhausted, yes, I am cream crackered. <laughs> Hi, Nancy. Nancy over on YouTube. Oh, Northwest Florida, Navarro. Navarre, that's exactly where. Nancy, are you friends with Mel? Because that's where she was sheltering at, during the evacuation for the, from the hurricane, um, was in Navarre. Interesting. So, oh, my glasses. Yeah, I, I take them off because they're catching the glare, but then I can't read your comments. So we're going we're gonna to leave them on. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Jen Jen. Hi, Bernadette. Okay, so I thought we would just run down some some stuff for the month. Um, we're going to be getting a newsletter out here in the next day or so. Uh, so if you haven't signed up for our newsletter, go ahead and go out to featherweightdoctor.com and sign up for our newsletter. Oh, you do know Mel, Nancy. That's awesome. <laughs> yes, definitely clinically exhausted. For sure, Polly. Um, so our new products that will eventually hit the website also, but they will be offered uh, during the opening weekend. Um, we are, I think I've told you guys, we're ordering t-shirts and these really cool work aprons that are going to have our logo um, engraved with in leather on them. They're, they're going to be, um, they're pretty fancy, so the, um, the, the price point will reflect the qu high quality of merchandise, but they're gonna say uh, Sand Creek Quilting on them, which I'm pretty excited about. Um, we also are gonna have trucker hats made. Ray has approved and authorized the trucker hats. Um, we are also, um, I think I've already told you guys, going to do wine tumblers with the lids, the insulated wine tumblers. 
and also just the 20 ounce drink tumblers with the lids will also have our engraved logo on them. Hi Angel and hi Becky. Hi Joanne from Mississippi. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me, it's a little dusty in here. <laughs> We've been putting furniture together and we still have more walls to build and all the things. So Ray came up with a great idea for opening for opening weekend, we're doing um, like an open house on the Friday night, which is October 1st. And we are going to be doing, um, for the people that are coming for the event, we'll, there will be some giveaways and some prizes, but being that we're kind of a national company, we're an international, we have an international clientele base, I wanted everybody to have fun with the party. So what we're gonna do for the giveaways is on my online audience can participate in the giveaways also so you you do you can be present or you can be entered into the drawings i'm going to sneeze again okay maybe not <laughs> sorry do i need to do the show no or? i'm sorry <laughs> so regan's like i'm about to, where's the hook she's going to come hook me off the show so what we're going to do is any order thank you guys <laughs> oh, Patty, I think it might be you because I actually do have a pretty strong connection. So refresh your browser and it will refresh so I don't keep freezing up. But anyway, so any order that comes in through the website for the month of September is going to be entered in the drawings for the free grand opening weekend prizes. So we're going to be giving away a ton of merchandise. I even have some gifts that people like Omaha, um, the Celtic Quilter in Omaha has given me a huge, like, you know, those diaper cakes for baby showers. Well, they made it out of fat quarters. So we're going to have a bunch of really cool merchandise to give away um, that weekend. And if you put an order in through the website, featherweightdoctor.com, you will be automatically entered into the drawings over the grand opening weekend. So there you go. That's a way to get the online audience to participate in all of the, the giveaways. We also are going to be running a live webcam. Reagan will be your host on the webcam during the party. No. <laughs> she will be. Uh, we're going to have a live, mu live music here. I've hired a violinist to come in and do some, um, some fun music. We are going to have chocolates. We are going to have wine. I'm ordering two cases of wine. So if you are able to get to Sandpoint, Idaho over the October 1st and 2nd weekend, there's going to be a little party going on here. So I highly recommend you stop by. <laughs> isn't Peggy says the fat quarter cake is I know you should see how big it is there's like thread in there and it's like $150 worth of merchandise that Celtic quilter sent me home with oh Franny I do a uh, Franny you need to order two thread stands they are not on the website yet but I will let me put you down and yes that does qualify as an entry um so Franny is entered into the contest to thread stands okay such a good excuse to go shopping Becky I like that spirit <laughs> y'all I just feel like money has been flowing out of the company it's time that it starts flowing into the company <laughs> hi Odie how's it going sweetheart I hope Central Oregon is doing well for you today all right how many times can we enter <laughs> so every order gets a and um, actually I don't want to do that because then I'm going to lose my shirt on shipping. Well, you basically get, like, just get one orders. order to one entry because if you put in multiple orders, I mean, if you have to put in multiple orders, I totally understand that. Yes. One per person gets one entry. Yeah, one per person, Ray says. she's. She, we're making the rules up as we go. <laughs> Hi, Chris. Our website is featherweightdoctor.com. We have all kinds of bit pieces and parts for the Antique Singer Featherweight and more merchandise to come. Hi, Kathy Harris, thanks for tuning in. Is your website ordering sister going, oh, it, Bernadette, our system is not Canadian friendly yet, but if you put an order in with me directly, you will get entered in the drawn. Hi, Karen Bach in California. How you doing, sweet pea? <laughs> Polly's like, wait, I can't participate. I'm in UK. <laughs> All right, oh, uh, let's 
Let's see, Franny says, I have a question about my presser foot tensioning bar. Girl, you expect me to answer legit questions? I've lowered almost as tight as I can go, but my material kind of slides hmm. easily. So sometimes my quarter inch seam is wiggly. What do I need to do? It sounds like you need to reset the height of your presser foot, which is not something that I would advise Franny you to do. I think you need a technician to do that, but it sounds like your height, because you can, uh, you can adjust that within behind the face plate of the machine, but that isn't something I'd recommend that the, just the average end user does. But it sounds like it needs to be um, it needs to be reset. So Rose in Tennessee, yes, Denise will be here for the weekend. Yay! So the evil twin will be here. Hi, Cindy and Jen. Hello, hello. Peggy wants to know, Connie, who sat next to me in the home all class, got another feather. Oh, she got another feather weight. <laughs> you girls in Nebraska, you and your feather weights, you guys are fanatical about it. Odie says the valley, valley is cooler and you can feel. I know. I we're, We had a frost warning up here in Sandpoint already last night. It's September 1st. That's crazy. So I have a feeling we're in for quite a winter. Maybe that'll make the housing prices in the spring better. I don't know. <laughs> oh, Denise says she's coming. Denise, you're not eligible. Family isn't eligible to enter the drawings. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, but feel free to order something anyway. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, you think the spring needs stretching? I agree. I agree, Polly. Let's see here. All right, friends, what else do I have to tell you? Oh, so another cool thing that we're going to be doing when the store opens is I want to get back online with my education. Um, during COVID last year, I was able to do several featherweight maintenance classes um, and also a couple of beginning machine quilting classes. And we're going to start offering those in person here in the space and I'm going to include my online audience to join us also. So some of the cool classes that will be opening when the machine, when the shop opens are um, just the beginning machine quilting class, which is a two part class that specifically focuses on finishing work. Um, and then the other class we're gonna be doing is another technique on basic piece piecing. So we're gonna be doing um, <clears throat> just a sampler, a beginning small sampler. It'll include how to, good cutting practices, how to put the blocks together, good seam allowance. Um, you know, good seam allowance, you don't have to necessarily have a featherweight, although all of the kid, cool kids have a featherweight. So, but I won't be, I won't be snotty or exclusive to only include the featherweights. You can bring your Bernina, your brother, your Husqvarna, your Foth, whatever you have. Um, we also will be doing a quilt as you go uh, class in shop and then again online virtually through Zoom. So that will be another class that we're going to be offering. Um, <clears throat> so one of the cool uh, technique classes that Reagan has absolutely fallen in love with are those puff quilts. Have you guys seen these? They were really popular in the 70s and they're kind of making a comeback and they're doing that on an ombre style with um, solid fabrics. You can also use charm packs, which are the little pre-cut five inch squares. And what you do is you make your little puffs and then you start sewing them all together. And before you know it, you have this puffy ombre puff quilt. So that is going to be one of the classes we're going to be offering at opening. Also, I'm going to try and get Reagan to teach it, but she said that because she's never taught anything before, I need to come and help with the first class, which I will totally do. Um, we also are going to be uh, dropping very soon our summer sampler, not summer sampler, sorry, our sampler 2020, we've renamed it, <laughs> which will basically run for about 17 weeks. I'll be doing a new block every single week uh, on camera, and then for your cutting instructions, you will we'll do a subscription-based service. So we have lots of very cool things coming to Featherweight Doctor, Sand Creek Quilting, um, and it's all within like a month so I, it's certifiably crazy around here <laughs> no sleep for me 
Hi, Jeanette. Hello, hello. Uh, Bernadette in Canada wants to know, do your wine glasses have sip and so on them? They're just going to say the company name, but I think I do need to add sip and sew to them because that's what we do on Fridays, right, ladies? We sip and we sew. So I need to make sure my cup lady <laughs> has the change in graphic. Ray, write that down. <laughs> Sandy Reese, what are you doing in New Jersey, girl? You Are you lost? You live in New Hampshire. <laughs> they do call me oh 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 denise all right she's like i'll just help myself if you won't give me free merchandise yikes kathy zoka hi sweet pea how's it going how's addie washington oh kathy harris says i did those prep quilts in the 70s done it not doing it anymore okay <laughs> i haven't made one yet i might be sorry <laughs> Judy's on from California. Hi, Judy from California. All right, let's see here. I think that is all I have to tell you guys about tonight. Um, I will be on on Friday. We are going to be doing our regular sip and sew on Friday. Um, <clears throat> I might unbury a featherweight by then. I don't know, but otherwise, Large Marge, my singer 301, and I will be on working on my little penguins, uh, my Elizabeth Hartman quilt. Uh oh, Rose says, I'm confused. This must be, this, will this be a quilt store or a, oh, that's actually a good question, Rose, or a sewing machine store. So we are going to be, I'm calling us a quilt store. We are not going to be offering fabric on the bolt, but we will have fabric in the form of pre cuts in the store. We're going to focus on, on education. So we'll have a nice uh, classroom in here, and we will also will be doing finishing work on the long arm. Um, so if you are not currently employing a long arm or there isn't one in your area, I would love to be your long arm quilter. Um, we're going to have our machine running five days a week. And so, um, yeah, we are looking for clients, long arm clients. So uh, I've done the business uh, remote before and it's just a matter of mailing in and then I mail back out. So we're going to be kind of a finishing quilt store is what I'm calling us. <laughs> and there will be, yes, of course, it's the home of featherweight doctor. So, of course, we're going to have uh, featherweights. I'm looking to have about 10 on hand for the opening of the store. Um, I'm not really selling any between now and then because I'm in acquisition mode and I want to make sure that I have a full offering uh, for when the shop opens on in a month. So, we're going to have 10 available for purchase in house on October 1st and 2nd, and then they'll hit the, uh, the website after the opening weekend. For those of you looking for specific machines, there will be a rare year in there too, a 1962, just so everybody knows. Therese says, hi again, just finished squaring up my pieces, had to walk away from them. I understand, thanks for joining us, Therese. And Colby says, very nice, can't wait till you get started. <sighs> Me too, I, this has been a wonderful and exhausting experience all at the same time. Um, I am, I'm really excited about what's coming down the road for us. So <laughs> Denise wants to know if we're only having Tula fabric. There will be other fabric other than Tula in the shop. <laughs> but there will be some Tula. <laughs> when you get the long up and running, I want to see. Oh, yeah, that's a great idea, Franny. I'll, I'll do a show in front of the new fancy Bernina long arm. Thanks, Kathleen. We're excited, too. All right, friends. Well... I'm going to sign off. If you haven't already, go ahead and like us on Facebook or subscribe to us on uh, on YouTube. I think you can follow us on Instagram. I noticed uh, over the last couple weeks that a lot of you who regularly attend haven't really done that before. And then you'll get notifications when I'm on or when I have posts if you like, follow, or subscribe to our um, accounts. And then if you haven't already, like I said at the beginning of the broadcast, make sure you sign up for our newsletter which is coming out here in the next couple days. We're gonna to try to hit the first of each month. Um, and it will be talking about how all orders are entered into the drawing for the prizes for the grand opening. So thank you guys. Thank you so much for joining us. I look forward to talking to you on Friday with my wine glass in my hand. <laughs>